I don't know, man. It's just Hunter. This is um, a guy named Fluffy made this mid-range Hunter deck. I don't even know the guy. Ecop linked to me the deck list. <laughs> man, Ecop's and everything, dude. Gainz15 just subscribed for four months in a row. Welcome back to the Bad Cave team thing. I appreciate the continued support. Yeah, more coin two than two. We the best. I mean, this card always wins the joust against them, pretty much, because the highest curve in their entire like thing is four, and sometimes they don't even run the four mana seven seven. Fire it up. Fire it up. Well, sometimes huge toad trades with this guy. Sometimes you're a Leoc and it gets a guaranteed trade with that guy. Kill it. One and three. Never lucky. I don't think Leoc's the play here. I think it's better just get all these guys out here. Try and get one of these ping effects to really land on this 3 1 and take care of business. You just follow the curve from here though and just infest Wolf after this probably. <laughs> The face shaman is thinking. Four mana seven seven. Good play. Good play. Oh, he rips the deadly shot. That's what a world championship feels like, right there. Damn right, that was well played. Welcome to Hearthstone. Feels good, man. Yeah, man, Hyde Hill, you can link it, dude, but it, the bot might ban you, and I got no control over that. So good luck. <laughs> Alright, we want to try and set up bow, I guess, is our best board for the following turn, and then we want to kill one of these so that we can have maximum odds that Fiery Bat takes him down. Kill him. You're named after me, you douche. Come on, clear the minion. <laughs> Never slightly fortunate. Nah, I'm just kidding. I top deck deadly shot last turn. I'm pretty fortunate. Oh my god, if we had actually hit the juggle though, we could have killed this mana tide and play high main. It's so clean. It's unfortunate. You're on the bench, bro. I mean, I guess we just killed this just because we only have one trap in the deck, so it's not like we're really going to be able to do anything with the bow. Like, assembling extra charges is a bit difficult. Sick high main, bro. Fuck. So we'll just kill that guy and, uh, and deploy our wolf. Wolf is so slow. I mean, we're still alive at this point, which is pretty good, because we're starting to get around to the turns where we can finally start doing cool things, where we get to play uh, Call of the Wild. And that card's, like, super busted. But he hasn't used any storms yet, and I believe he's mid-range. Or at least has storm in his deck, right? That's what Manatide normally signals. Yeah, that's not good. Hey, at least it's a harsh score. It's very fizzled out in his hand. He's been drawing extra cards, and I actually have more gas in the tank than he does, which is weird. Let's add some more gas here, I guess. Just jousting him. Get him. Not a great one. Could've got the Mana Tide or the Flame Tongue, but you had to pick the Argent Squire. Did they make Fiery Bat card because of me? No, no, this was an accident. They just made a, a Fiery Bat card, and my name happened to line up well with it. Sometimes lucky. Kill him. You see? card does not behave like me at all. I would have definitely killed the Argent Squire there. F 
This isn't good. The second 7-7. Seven, seven. Kill command. More Huffer. I was fine for board. We need Call of the Wild, man. And for him not to have Lightning Storm. That is a dirty Lightning Storm. You call the wild, we can at least kill the 7 4. Maybe we won't die. I mean, we just, the whole story of this game has been we missed a juggle on that taunt, which made it so he couldn't kill Manatide Totem, and it drew him like 7 extra cards. If we hit that juggle and we kill Manatide Totem, I think we just win the game. Ridiculous. Oh, the whole game traces back to one fifty fifty chuckle. Fucking fire bat, such a terrible card. Feels bad, man. <laughs> what do I think about priest? I like playing priest. I like playing priest a lot. Played in a tournament today, it's fun. Maybe if I draw another call of the wild. If I just draw five Call of the Wilds in a row, maybe we'll win. He's gonna take ten from this and die. Is there a top deck? Oh, we are just super dead. We got a two drop, maybe we hit a one drop. We don't have very many one drops in the deck, so it's like fairly unlikely we find the one drop to go with our curve here to help set things up, but you know, one can dream. At least we got two into three potentially. We could just use Deadly Shot, honestly, to clean up whatever. I'm gonna play this guy up first. I don't think the huge toast death rattle is that relevant. Maybe we can get something here that fixes up our curve a little bit. Or at least thins our deck in such a way that we have a higher likelihood of finding cards that fit out our curve, right? So like we got a six drop out of the way, so now we have more odds of finding our three drops and our four drops, you know what I mean? So that's it's pretty crucial. You got my attention. You got my, my attention. My fire bet, well done today in Star Ladder. Thanks, dude. Any I appreciate chance that. You can show this under list. Thanks for streaming. BTW was having a dull day. Chat spam keepo. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I appreciate the donation. Yeah, I can show the hunter list after this game. It's uh, it's Fluffy's hunter list with two codos instead of one codo. Let me post it in the chat for you as well. Here's the uh, the deck list in English and Japanese, I think. I don't know, I follow the Hearthstone Read to Win blog, and that's usually where I get all my deck lists from when I'm looking at trying to play other people's deck lists. I don't know who it is that makes this. I also don't speak Japanese, but they have a lot of really good content on their website. But yeah, appreciate the donation, man. Appreciate it. Hexer Hughes. Thanks, dude. Alright, maybe we can force um, force a storm so he gets overloaded and then we can uh, play out uh, high main next turn. Mm. If he storms this, we get the two one ones as well, so it's not even that bad for us. But this is like not a bad board state, you know? Lava Shock into storm kind of sucks. <laughs> Just has the answer. Alright, no way he has Hex though. Now he's overloaded for two, he's only got four mana, so if he has the Hex, he can't develop anything with the Hex. Then we just plop down the other high main and we're still good to go. We're in it. 
It's got the Earth Shack. I'm not even mad. Not even mad. We're just running these shamans out of resources, man. Grind Hunter. Do you believe you can take Infested Wolf out for Hunter's Mark? Isn't it weak? Infested Wolf isn't the strongest card in the world, but it does help grind people down. Hunter's Mark doesn't help grind people down at all. Yeah, we still have lethal with Call of the Wild. And our hero power. <laughs> Infested Wolf is a pretty weak card in my opinion. I don't know, but the general theme of this deck as I've been playing it so far has really been slow grindy games of just fatiguing people's hands and then getting Call of the Wild down. So, Hunter's Mark doesn't play very well with that playstyle. I can see maybe one, but that playstyle doesn't make very much sense.